Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to clone Pokemon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and head over to Salacian Town by the Pokemon Daycare Center or the Pokemon Daycare. Um, go ahead and head over to there because it's going to be required in the steps. Now, one thing that I want to mention is that this glitch was indeed found by Kevin45 on Twitter and also... This is a glitch where it will allow you to clone a Pokemon. It can be a shiny Pokemon with a held item with a Master Ball or any item that you want to have on there. So I'm going to explain to you the steps that um, you have to do in order for this glitch to work for you. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to remove all my Pokemon from the daycare and I'm going to go ahead and start doing the glitch. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go into your box and you're going to go ahead and remove the Pokemon that you just took out or if you have anything in daycare. You're going to put a random Pokemon in slot 1 in box 1. You're also going to have to put a Pokemon in slot 1 box 2. This is required that you do this and then the next step you're going to do is you're going to put the Pokemon in slot 1, box slot 1, into a register, into your battle box, as your team, uh, as your Pokemon. After you've done those steps of doing this, um, and you register those two Pokemon and from the slot box, you, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and talk to the Pokemon nursery lady, and she's going to ask you if you want to take care of a Pokemon. So this is where the steps kind of get confusing for a lot of people, and I think it's gotten uh, pretty confusing for me as well. Talk to the woman in the daycare and select the box to slot f for that Pokemon. Okay, once you select it for that second Pokemon in the box slot, you're going to go to box list, and you're going to go ahead and click on it, and then you're going to press Y and switch the boxes. So you're going to switch box 1 with box 2. Once you have done that, um, you're going to leave and you're going to put done and you're going to leave that Pokemon for 500 Poke Dollars. So that's pretty much all you do for the first steps. Now, this is where it gets a little more complicated again. So we're going to go ahead and go into our PC box again. And this time, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have a Pokemon that you want to get rid of before you actually clone. And once we are here, we're going to have to go ahead and go into our box, our battle box. As you guys can see, there's a missing no battle or Pokemon slot in there in the bottom. Do not click on it because if you click on it, you're going to glitch the game and it will probably freeze. It has frozen for me a lot of time. So once you switch into your battle box, you're going to have to have a Pokemon that you're going to get rid of. That means this Pokemon... You will never be able to get it again. We're basically releasing it. So what you're going to do that is you're going to register it. And then you're going to register the Pokemon you want to clone. So as you guys can see, my Ponyta is there. It's already registered and it disappeared from my battle box. So the Pokemon that after you do that, the Pokemon that you're going to dump, you're going to register the Pokemon you want to clone. In my case, we're going to clone Cyndaquil with a Master Ball gonna go ahead and register it and put it into our battle box and once you do that you're gonna want to go ahead and check the summary on this Cyndaquil and once you check the summary on the Cyndaquil hello there now you have two cloned Pokemon on your battle box now as you guys can see right here I have managed to clone both of my Cyndaquils and these are shiny Cyndaquils and they both have a master ball and it's pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and repeat it one more time because I know this is quite a confusing glitch. Um, and it, it can definitely confuse a lot of people. So we're going to go ahead and do it again, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and do this glitch again. So let's get out of our Pokemon here from the nursery lady. And let's take, care, take, take, take it out. Sorry, I'm going to take it out because I already left one in here. Um, no, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna get that Pokemon back. So I'm gonna get my Rodden back from the lady and we're gonna go ahead and go into our box again. And like I said, let's do it again. Let's do it faster this time. So leave one Pokemon in slot one 
and then leave another Pokemon in slot two. Well, we well we have to kind of like switch our boxes again. Uh, that way we don't get confused. So let's go ahead and switch our boxes. So that way we don't get confused with the glitch with the Y button on switching your boxes. Okay. So we have one slot Pokemon as well and one slot Pokemon in box two, in both boxes. And then you're going to go ahead and do the same process again. You're going to register a Pokemon to your battle box. Um, we're going to switch to our battle box and we're going to register the Rotom. Now you don't lose your Rotom. Once you do that, we go into the Pokemon Lady, at uh, the Pokemon Nursery Lady again. And we go press yes. And what do we do again? We go ahead and and talk into registering or selecting the second slot Pokemon go to the box view and switch the box again and then once you do that you leave you say done you leave that Pokemon for 500 pokey dollars we go back into our main box again and we go ahead and go into our box again and then we switch into the battle box uh, we take the Pokemon that we don't care about and we register him there, he disappears, and then we get the Pokemon that we want to clone again, and then we get it, put it in there, we check the summary, and there you go, you have another clone Cyndaquil. As you guys can see, I have three clone Cyndaquils now that are registered there, you can move them back, you know, and then you'll have three clone Cyndaquils. This is how the glitch works, and it's pretty awesome because you can clone as many as you want and you can keep the items. Now I have three Master Balls due to this glitch. Guys, I gotta say thanks to Kevin for finding out this glitch. Um, this will be very useful for people who are trying to get items and Pokemon. And cleaning, I mean cloning Pokemon is pretty cool. So shout out to Kevin4 or 5 for actually finding out this glitch it's pretty simple once you get a hang of it i've seen videos where they're going they're talking too fast and that's the reason why people weren't able to do it but if you follow every steps in this video like i did you'll be able to clone any shiny pokemon with a master ball that means you can give it to your friends or whatever friend you have you can give them the clone pokemon anyways guys thanks for watching this video make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and peace out